guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandy and I am the founder of Love You Candle Co. And um, I, first, before we begin, I always have something to say. You guys should know that by now. First of all, I want to thank every single one of you that um, purchased um, a candle from my site, from my launch. I want to thank you so much for your support. Um, for my spring collection, um, I, I I was overwhelmed in joy by how many um, of you supported my launch. I was not expecting it, but thank you so much. Um, and I also want to thank you guys for the amazing comments, the DMs, the emails that you guys sent me regarding my last post. It was a very um, touch po like video that I made. Um, my last, my previous video, and um, I got very emotional, but you know what? Um, that's what I'm here for, to, you know, pretty much share my journey with you guys, the good, the bad, the ugly, because um, reality is nothing's ever perfect, and I don't even, I don't also want to use my channel to portray that making candles and having a candle business is super easy, and I don't want to only show you the good, because I feel that that's like, false advertisement and that I'm leading you in a not um, like realistic journey, you know? I wanna kinda like show you what you can expect. So thank you so much for all your support, for all your kind words. You guys are the sweetest and that's why I love you. Um, and then um, based on that video that you saw about my product pictures, if you go on my website now, I am 100% so much in love with my website with my photos and honestly i have one person to thank and that is jessica from the hawthorne company oh my god guys she is so amazing like this girl just made me cry um if you guys want to hear about the story um i'm not going to get into too much detail about it all i'm going to tell you is that um, Jessica's a sweetheart. She came to my rescue. She offered to help me to take these product pictures. And if you guys see, her work is amazing. Um, go to her channel. I'm going to link it in my description because I want you guys to not only see her tutorials, but also listen to her video that is so inspiring regarding how, why she decided to quit her job. So, um, she's been, you know, she was a truck driver and I want you guys to watch it because it's gonna resonate with a lot of you and she might even inspire you to do the same so uh, like I said I'm gonna put her um, link in my description box go ahead and follow her but Jessica you are a doll I love you girl she is amazing um, in her video she did mention she wanted to start you know entertaining maybe pursuing product photography and I tell you guys, oh my God, her pictures are so beautiful. This girl is talented with everything that she touches. She's so talented and her soul, she has a beautiful soul. Like she holds such a special place in my heart. And I wanna thank her so much for that. Um, and especially during these times, um, so thank you so much, Jessica, again, from the Hawthorne Company. You are a sweetheart, a doll. I love you. Today's video is very exciting for me because I feel like there's not a, enough information about this topic out there. And um, I feel like it's such an important one in this business um, that I thought, hey, why don't you know I make a video about this? And that's how... How, tips on how to buy from Alibaba. So if some of you don't know what Alibaba, basically it's like the Chinese Amazon. That's how I see it. It's like a Chinese Amazon. You have all these suppliers that are selling their products, all types of products. Like you name it, it's on Alibaba. The difference between Alibaba and AliExpress is that Ali express you don't need to buy a minimum order quantity i mean a minimum you don't need to aliexpress does that and aliexpress you can buy one single item but of course you're not going to get a wholesale price for it on alibaba you will 
but you will require to order a minimum quantity, which I'll get into that further into the video. So um, it's alibaba.com and you just have to set up an account. And that's where I used to go to buy other things with my previous business when it came to stationary things. Um, and also I had my packages, my packaging where my waist trainers used to go in, I used to have them done overseas. So, um, why did I resort to go to Alibaba? There was two main reasons. One, the lack of vessels. Um, a lot of suppliers are out of vessels and that was one of my main reasons that I wanted to know, okay, I need a backup. I need to see where I can go and buy other vessels and I'm not depending on the suppliers when they run out of inventory. Um, so, um, so I didn't want to depend on the supplier and if they run out of inventory because then what am I going to make candles in, you know? Um, so I decided, let me go to Alibaba. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is, um, when you go on Alibaba, um, search the specific item that you're looking for, whether it is candle vessels, um, concrete vessels, um, wick trimmers, um, amber jars, um, three wick jars, luxury vessels, whatever specification that you're looking for, whatever item and color entered in the search box, because that's going to narrow down out of the thousands of suppliers that Alibaba has. Um, after you do that, I'm looking at my whiteboard again, guys. That's why I'm looking that way. Um, before you even start going back and forth and wasting your time with the supplier, you're going to see in the menu section that there's going to be something called minimum order quantity, M-O-Q. That means minimum order quantity, meaning how many, what's the minimum amount of pieces, items, units you need to purchase from them that they require that they will not entertain your business unless you order that minimum quantity. So here's the thing. Don't let that scare you. Don't let it scare you. What you want to do is hit send message, contact supplier and ask them, Hey, are you open to negotiate on the minimum order quantity? And here's the argument. I'm going to let you in on a negotiation secret. Um, you tell them, you play the tr I don't trust you card. That is, you tell them, I, I do not know how you run your business. I do not know the quality of your products. I do not know how well you will deliver a mass order. So I think it's fair that I only feel comfortable and remember, there's a language barrier here a little bit. So you have to be very, very exact with your words. I want to be able to try out a small batch of an order. That way I can go ahead and see how smooth the whole process is. That way I'll feel more comfortable ordering um, a larger quantity in the future. Guys, in the middle of the recording, I hear my son crying. So I don't remember what I was saying, but... So basically you're going to play that trust card and it's true at the same time. It's true. And if some of them will go ahead and say, no, they won't fall for it. Others, they actually, if they really want your business and they are ethical, they will understand you and they will tell me, they will tell you, okay, how many pieces and they will work with you. You need to negotiate. They will work with you. Um, this is in the event that you do not want to go through the sample um, sample route. And by that, I mean that they will offer you a free sample. Meaning if you want, let's say three different jars, if you want three different luxury jars that you want to test out the quality, what they're going to tell you is we can send you the items for free. You have to pay for shipping. That means that the shipping is going to run you anywhere from 50 to $75. That's how much shipping is going to cost. And it's going to be express shipping because since they're only sending one, two, three, maybe four items, 
it's not that heavy. Therefore, the shipping, they can actually express it. The express shipping arrives in about 20 days. Once you receive that, once you receive the, um, the sample, you can see exactly what you're going to get when you order a mass amount. At that point, you could begin the negotiation of um, the truth, the, the trust card. You can start the negotiation at that point with that. Um, what I did, and this is me personally, I requested a sample every single time. So the luxury vessels that you guys have seen in the past, those luxury vessels, I actually paid, I think it was like $85 in shipping um, for a sample of all the colors in all three, in all six sizes. Cause it's, they have an, a 10 ounce and they have a 17 ounce. So in those two sizes is that I requested um, the sample, which I did receive in about 20 days. And what I did was a page for shipping. Then after that, that's when I placed my order and I negotiated with them and I was able to get a smaller minimum order quantity versus um, other suppliers that were asking, oh, you need to buy a purchase a minimum of a thousand pieces. So um, with that, you wanna definitely negotiate the price. So the price is gonna vary. Some suppliers will sell you the items already together. Some will send you, will sell you the lid separate and um, the vessel separate. Some will join it together, it just depends. What you wanna be able to do is let the supplier know that you are talking with other vendors that are bidding against you know, your business. So you wanna make sure that you are getting the best, best price. And you're gonna arrange that based on, you're gonna look at all the suppliers cause you just wanna go with the first one. You wanna go ahead and you do your research. Research, research, research. So what you wanna do is that you wanna write down your top five. The top five, you know, ask them your prices. You gotta ask them how, um, what are your prices? What's the best price that you have for me? How much is shipping? Um, after shipping, how much, how long is it going to take? So all of that you put into a little Excel file, that way it auto populates and does all the cost of goods, how much it's going to cost you. That way you're going to know how much will each vessel or wick trimmer is going to cost you because the cost of the products and the cost of the shipping, you're going to combine it together. Then you're going to divide it by the total amount of units that you ordered. And that will tell you how much each product cost. So you kind of like weigh out and say, is this worth it? Is it not worth it? So based on the prices that you get here in the States, and also you don't have to worry about inventory. So, Make sure that you negotiate your prices and, and feel that you're getting a really, really good deal. Um, another thing, the shipping. Okay, so the shipping, you have to negotiate with them and you need to tell them, get me the best shipping quotes because they work with different um, shipping logistic companies that um, set up the shipping. So you wanna make sure that you tell them, get me at least five different offers depending, so they're gonna ask you for your address, which is okay to give them because that's the only way they can give you a fair and accurate shipping rate. They're gonna need your address and your zip code. Once you give them your address and your zip code, you tell them, I want shipping door to door. That means that once it or after it passes custom and it arrives in the ships, it's gonna be delivered directly to your front door. Now, there's the other type that it gets delivered to the docks, which that means you have to go pick up. Um, I used to have to do that with my waist trainers because they were, it was just like so much and they were so heavy, it's too many boxes that um, the, the carriers wouldn't deliver to my house. And if, they, and if they did, it was like so expensive. So I would have to go to the port in Miami and pick up um, my orders. So, you wanna make sure that it says door to door. It's going to be delivered in front of your door. Make sure that you specify that. Also, they have a difference between boat and express, which is airplane. Okay, guys, here's the part that a lot of people don't like, but you get what you pay for, right? Be prepared, be prepared to wait because the cheaper shipping 
is boat. The most expensive one is express. Boat is going to take anywhere from 60 to even 120 days. Okay? So be very well aware of that, that don't purchase thinking that you're going to get it in a month. And don't purchase if this these are the jars and vessels that you are going to use for your next month's collection or even the following month. Don't put your chips on that. So don't do that. Do not make that mistake. Make sure that if you need these vessels for the summer, you are ordering at least in February. And I'm not even kidding. Um, and then you have Express, which Express takes about anywhere from 20 to um, 30 days. Um, that's what Express is. It takes short of time because it comes um, during a plane, but it's a cargo plane. Um, so that takes a little bit less, uh, but you are going to pay a heftier price. So what you have to do is, are you willing to sacrifice a little bit, a little bit more for the jar to cost you for it to get here quicker? Or is it something you can't budge with? You got to kind of like weigh out exactly what is it that you feel that you can handle. Everybody has their own limit when it comes to that. Um, so I would say be prepared to wait and just be on top of them. You know, just be on top of them, emailing them, uh, sending them a message, making sure that um, that they know, hey, I didn't forget. Hey, I'm right here. Hey, I didn't forget. And I'm going to keep bugging you until you give me um, some sort of update. So um, make sure that on Alibaba, it says verified because verified, they are guaranteed through Alibaba with insurance, meaning if you never get your order or something's wrong with your order, then you go ahead and make a claim through Alibaba and they will refund you your money. So make sure that the vendor is verified. Also, when you're on the website, what you can also do on that item, look on the right hand side. Maybe I'll do a video next time showing you guys the screen. Um, go to where it says supplier name. And when you click on it, it's going to take you to the um, supplier's profile where you can hit products and you can see everything that they sell. Because little do you know that you may be able to purchase a lot of items from one supplier versus having to go to all these different ones. And they tend to give you a very, very good deal if you buy multiple items from them. So um, I actually ordered the luxury vessels and I went ahead and also ordered wick trimmers and wick sets that I'm going to put in, be putting on my website and I'm super excited about. And they gave me a good deal based on all, all the things that I was um, purchasing. So um, as far as anything else, I would say that when you do receive your items, inspect every single one of them. Even if you have to go through a ton of boxes, you need to do it. If you do not do that, you may end up losing out on your um, on your buyer protection because if an item arrives broken, the supplier needs to re either refund you for that or they need to replace it. And sometimes what they end up doing is just giving you a refund because it's just less of a hassle, but you need to make sure that you're not losing out on money. So make sure you inspect everything because you also have to hit a button in Alibaba um, confirming the delivery and confirming that your items re um, re were received in, in a well-being. So um, um, just make sure you negotiate. Remember, negotiate, negotiate. And um, don't take no for an answer on, on the first time. No, keep be persistent. Be that business person that you are. Um, show them that you want their business, but you know, you're not going to be a pushover either. Um, and also they're not the only one. So make sure that if you're going to go through this, it's just going to be worth it. It, I tell you that I have done this a couple times and out of, I have been about 
I want to say 80% successful. I have no complaints. It just takes a lot of time and research. And also the negotiation back and forth does take a couple days. So between the negotiation with you and the supplier back and forth, after when they do the invoice, you pay it, and then you have to wait. Uh, oh, let me not forget one last thing. Make sure you ask them, Are my, is my order already made? Are my goods ready to pack and ship? And some of, the, uh, some of them will tell you yes, but little did you know that that was a lie, that they don't actually start making your products until your order comes in. And other suppliers already have your, you know, your um, products in stock. And they're like, yes, it's ready for pack and ship. And that's what can you, you're gonna be able to tell once they have to add a shipping confirmation to the email. So the time between um, when you pay your invoice and the time that they actually mark your item shipped, you will be able to tell if they're making your order on demand or it's already, um, already pre-made by how many days or weeks it takes for them to ship your order after you pay. So keep an eye on that, make sure that, because that's gonna tell you a lot about that supplier. It's also, it's better if they're upfront and they tell you, hey, we have to make it to order, then at least you prepare yourself and you're not already thinking, oh, I'm gonna get this on this day when in reality you're not. So um, that's all I have for you guys. If you, ha if you have any questions, that I may not have covered on this video, go ahead and comment below, like this video. Um, and um, I'm so glad that I was able to make this because I think this is gonna help you guys a lot. Um, thank you so much guys again. And don't forget to subscribe, share my videos with your friends. Um, if you have other friends that are making um, candles, go ahead and share my videos with them. Um, and I would greatly, greatly appreciate it because I love connecting with a lot of you guys. So thank you so much. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.